Sabah everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to review the brand new OnePlus Nord Buds. These are the first true wireless solution from the Nord line coming in the US from OnePlus. And I have to say that they're very surprising. And there's a few claims here, obviously. First and foremost, it's uh, featuring or supposed to have up to 94 millisecond low latency in gaming. Of course, the ability of having four microphones for clear audio. So this is something that we're definitely going to be checking out. But last but not least, of course, how do they sound? Are they great? Are they good? And can we use them with more than one device? And of course, how easy is it for us to switch between one device? and the other. This is TK and this is the OnePlus Nord Buds. Let's check them out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So this actually is the package for the OnePlus Nord Buds. Uh, the phone obviously does not come with it, but I did test it out with the Nord N20, the brand new N20. And of course I used it with the OnePlus 10 Pro because obviously we want to be able to get some of that best low latency gaming experience that typically comes from using Pro Gaming, which is a feature of Nord devices, or at least OnePlus devices. And this is the Pro Gamer mode that's built in directly into the gaming system that we have in here, which activates once you're inside of a game. You can swipe into it, go into it directly, under performance mode and activate pro gamer or pro gamer mode to be able to get some of that low latency again available on both nord and standard oneplus devices the packaging straightforward uh, we have a nice little sticker a box there of course replacement ear tips for small and large a usb c to usb a cable no charger but you can definitely see here the nice uh, red and white uh, standard oneplus colors last but not least the instruction manual and of course the buds themselves uh, the buds do come inside of a case. All you have to do is take them out and remove some of those plastic containers, uh, well, seals uh, so that they can actually charge. We have a reset button that's present right next to the USB-C charging port, and that's the only port that we have. Uh, and we should be able to charge them in about 10 minutes uh, and get a, a very nice long duration of gaming. They do last quite a bit, rated to last up to seven hours. Uh, if you get regular use and up to 30 hours with the included case, so up to 23 hours more with the case. The buds themselves have a 4200 milliampere battery each, and of course the case has 480 milliampere, which gives us the ability of getting that runtime. The low latency mode does require a OnePlus device, so you do need to be testing it either on a Nord or testing it on OnePlus 10, OnePlus 9, all of those. Uh, most of the OnePlus devices support the gaming mode, and you should be able to enjoy that there. Uh, we have four microphones, two on each uh, one of the earbuds themselves. There is no proximity sensor. They are charged via a pogo pin. And of course, we have the ability of configuring uh, the touch sensitivity here. That gives us the ability of using a single tap, double tap, and triple tap. And they're all configurable directly within the app. They're magnetically clamped into the case itself, so no dropping and no issue there. The case itself is also magnetically closed, so no issue. You can have no problem of dropping them. They're very nice, very small, and should be very comfortably fitting into that small pocket into our jeans. So for me, that's typically where I put my buds. Uh, but otherwise, uh, they look pretty good. There's two colors. There's the white one and the black one. I do have the white, uh, the black one here as well. Um, and of course, the tips themselves, you can replace them with the included one in the case. For me, I ended up replacing them to the large size. Uh, we have two, well, each earbud has a 12.4 millimeter titanium driver, which gives us the ability of getting some really good sound quality. It does support Dolby Atmos if your device supports it. And what I mean by this, uh, if your smartphone, if your OnePlus device supports uh, Dolby, this is going to be really nice and very easy to customize. Now, as far as configuring them and using them, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do, go straight into, and if this is a OnePlus device, this is pretty much the only way to do it. Uh, you jump in directly into the actual buds themselves. You connect, and obviously you can see here, we can go into the settings. And this is actually easily achieved as well by just clicking on the actual buds little uh, exclamation point that you have in there. So you have information as far as what the device does, uh, the media control, the contact, of course, earbud functionality, and that takes you directly into the controls or what you get there. So no apps, nothing that needs to be installed. Make sure you're running just the latest uh, software update on your device, and it's pretty straightforward. On the OnePlus 10 Pro, uh, of course, it was pretty straightforward. I just made sure everything was up to date in my uh, Google Play Store. On the OnePlus Nord, and of course, it was easily, same thing, runs very, very quickly, very nicely. It, well, AAC is the best uh, codec that it supports, uh, but it is by default turned off, and you do need to turn that on when you it. Once you do that, you can jump in directly into the configuration. We do have Sound uh, Master IQ here. You can customize. There is a. There are different presets here for EQs, and you can definitely use whichever one you prefer, or you can even add your own. Uh, now, I mentioned to you guys that this device supports Dolby Atmos, and that's because the OnePlus 10 Pro does. And of course, this will transfer in here for customizations when it comes down to audio experience uh, and different again different profiles to be able to get you to get that best uh, you know listening experience. As far as earbud controls, you're able to customize the earbud each independently up to three or technically four different functions. 
Three of them are basically single tap, double tap, previous, uh, and triple tap. For me right now, I'm using the triple tap for the voice assistant. You can use it for whichever one you use. There is the th These are the option previous, next, and voice assistant for the three top ones. And the bottom one is the ability of just switching devices. And that's really nice because when you press and hold it, it switches to the last device that you pair to last. So if you pair two devices, it'll switch between the last one and the current one easily. If you want to pair it or have it with two other devices, just repair it with the other phone with the two pairs that you need. And of course, you can customize them. And the touch sensitivity is pretty straightforward. It is very easy and tactile. You can feel where it is when you're putting your hand on the buds because it's just pretty easy to go forward from there. Uh, last but not least, firmware update. If you want to be able to uh, update your firmware, there was one update. Uh, quick guide if you want to be able to learn how to use them. And of course, it's pretty much straightforward. This is all the experiences that you want to be able to use. This is obviously mirrored by the application called Hey Mellerly, and this is now running on my S22 Ultra. So pretty straightforward, same configuration, slightly different view. Obviously, we have the battery indicators for a case and the buds themselves, firmware checking, earbud configuration, again, with what we talked about before, and of course, the about page to be able to check the app version, supported devices, and so on. Very straightforward, and if you do support Dolby Atmos, of course, this is going to work, but you just have to go into it directly from your phone settings as opposed to using it from the app. And the app integration is primarily made for OnePlus devices, but the Hey Melody app should be able to let you use this on any device and customize the experience. And now to switch it back to this device, since this was the last phone device that I actually had it paired, I'll just go ahead and press and hold on the earbud, whichever one, since I've configured them. It'll switch over from the other phone to this one, and you'll notice right there, we can jump in directly into the settings and start enjoying our music. Now, the buds themselves are not necessarily the smallest. The arm or the boom arm part of it is definitely a little bit wider, but it makes for an easier fit. Just make sure you use the right ear tip so that it fits right really nicely inside of the ear canal, and then you'll have a nice fit. There is no proximity sensor, so there's no uh, you know taking them off and stops music and putting them back on. Unfortunately, there's gonna be something in a different line of the, the buds that OnePlus releases. But as far as fit, pretty straightforward. You put them in and they rest on the bottom of the ear and they're actually pretty snug and they work really nicely. So this should be a good example of what the OnePlus Nord Bud sound like. Uh, again, this is intended more for video experience because we're recording a video, uh, but phone calls are also pretty decent. And of course the experience here is that it's easy, it's seamless. We have the tap gestures, we have the ability of customizing our experiences. And not only that, great uh, up to four, well not up to, four microphones here to give us some of that clear audio experience. Now, as far as the functionalities that we talked about before, again, we have the ability of just tapping once and that starts the music. And then tapping it twice stops the music. That's typical to what we've seen. So if we go ahead and start the music, and let's say I want to skip forward, just double tapping it, that skips to the next track. And if I want to go back, it takes us back to the, back, uh, to the last song. And if I want to uh, initiate the assistant, again, I configured it to be the triple tap on both earbuds. So one, two, three, I'll give it a second. And as you can see there, the assistant launches. I'm able to interact with it directly on the smartphone. And this is where the experience kind of gets very, very nice. It's very simple and very easy. Now, let's talk about audio performance as far as audio quality and what we get in here. The overall performance that we have in here is very straightforward. Uh, the fact that the buds are in ear already give us somewhat of an uh, noise isolation. So you're definitely having that nice separation between the outside world and the inside. You get that 90% done with the seal that they get, give you here. So overall, the performance is definitely very nice from uh, reducing the outside ambient noise to giving you that more personal noise. The audio profile or the audio performance that we have in here is definitely uh, geared towards more of a bass heavy or more of a dance EDM type of a uh, experience. So what I mean by that is the, definitely the bass and the mids and lows are definitely very pronounced. Uh, the audio, the vocals are actually not bad, but you have to keep in mind the budget or the price point of this earbud. So overall, I think the price and the experience that you're getting there are definitely very nice. They last quite a long time, five plus hours for me overall on about 60 to 70% volume level. And when it came down to gaming, actually it was surprisingly uh, really nice for me. I tested it out on both the OnePlus Nord as well, or the N20, as well as the OnePlus 10 Pro. And as long as I turned on game, or pro gamer mode, it did give me that really nice experience. And when I was playing it, as I'm showing you guys right now with Call of Duty, and of course, overall, it was very nice. I was able to hear all the people coming in from what direction they were coming and if people were sneaking up on the right or on the left and I didn't miss a beat. And we still actually at the end were able to uh, win that match with the team. So overall, I think, from a gaming perspective, these are definitely good gaming buds uh, from a true wireless solution. 
Uh, obviously wired will always be the best solution because you have low latency, no issues there. Obviously it's zero latency when it's wired, even if it is USB-C. Uh, but from a wireless solution, I feel like these are definitely very good. They sound very good and they have a very nice range. So make sure you turn on the best solution, audio solution that we have in here so that you can get the 44 kilohertz with 24 bit processing on this. And of course, if you have Dolby Atmos installed, this is definitely going to get even better. Um, overall, for the price, for the features and what you get with them, these devices are going to work great. They're, they will work the best with OnePlus devices, but they will work just as good with any other device on the market. And of course, being Android or iOS, it's just going to work really nice. This is definitely a, a very nice addition to the Nord line in the US. I'm very happy that OnePlus is extending uh, that series and of course can't wait to see what else they have to offer. Um, again, the OnePlus Nords are a best buy or a really good buy for anybody looking for a budget-friendly pair of buds that have a lot of features. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual and of course I'll see you in the next one.